Hey, Danny K coming to you from Danny K Gemma Wellness. Today's tip comes to you uh, from, well, me and a couple other people um, chit chatting around the gym and stuff like that. So, do you, basically, the effects of resisting or you know, embracing or fighting change. Do you embrace it? Do you fight it? Do you, how, how do you deal with it? Can you deal with it? Um, and, and does it depend on what the change is? So basically, you know, a lot of times, every single day we're faced with some sort of change, something. Sometimes, you know, we don't even look at it as a change. Um, and sometimes it nails us like right in the head, pops us in the heart, pops us in the head, pops us in the back of the head. We're not expecting it. Um, I've noticed um, through, I don't know, the last couple of months, you know, kind of like if I put something out into the, the universe, um, you know, just, just a thought. You know, I don't know, about a month later, it's coming to me. And I'm thinking, oh, oh, well, wait a minute. But that's what I wanted. That's what I was asking for. And then it happened. So for me, and, and I'm trying to always remember this, 10% um, is what happens. 90% is your reaction to it. So how do you react to it? And let me tell you something, if you flow with that change, I know sometimes we don't like change and people don't like change. And you know, sometimes it's like, well, what the hell? I was comfortable. Well, maybe that's why the universe or God or whatever, whatever your you know, belief is or whatever, maybe that's why you know, that change came about because you got comfortable. Just like with working out. When you work out, you're in that comfort zone and you don't see a change in, you know, like your results or anything like that, what happens? You know, you get frustrated, you know, whatever. But then when I'm telling you, you got to jump outside that comfort zone, change things up, then what happens? You might not like change. You might be like, oh God, I don't want to run or I don't want to speed that up or I don't want to lift heavier or I don't want to do more, you know, or what could I possibly already do? I'm already doing enough. So, you know, when I'm telling you that you have to change something or change your, your food or change whatever so that you can see there's results and you do and then there it is. So you might fight me. You might resist, you know, a little bit. You might be a little bit like, well, I can't possibly do any more work. I can't possibly do any more workout. Oh my God, I can't do faster, you know, whatever, whatever it might be. I can't lift heavier. And then when I put the dumbbells in your hand and you can lift heavier, then you're like, oh my God, I can do it. So change, we don't like change. No matter what realm of our universe, our life, change happens. And usually when we look at things, change is actually a good thing. We might not like it right then and there. We might not see it because we're comfortable. We're like, well, shit, I just got my shit together, you know? And uh, then then a little little curveball comes at you. And you know what? That's life. So, it, it, and as we get older, we realize that that's life. Just because you're comfortable in a situation or, you know, things are going, you know, it, it, it's going to be there. Just like the seasons, the seasons change. And, you know, and what happens? Like, there's beauty in, except for the snow. Uh, not for me. No, it is pretty. I just don't like the cold and shoveling. But there is beauty in every single season. You know, the summertime, the spring, you know, spring you know, brings flowers, you know, yeah, it's got rain, but it brings flowers. In the summertime, you know, we got the beaches and the, and, you know, just sun and tans and, and, you know, just all that fun, you know, camping and, and all that stuff. I'm not, well, camping isn't fun for me unless I have a microwave and electric and a roof over my head and a nice bed to sleep in. Anyway, um, but and then like fall, the, the leaves change colors, you know, so change is actually good. And if we just learn to you know, embrace it, sometimes it pops us upside the head. And then we just got to like step back, regroup, take a breath and figure out how can this benefit me instead of saying, son of a bitch, oh, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Like all this negative stuff. Think about how is this going to help me? You know, stuff happens at work, you know, I mean, I don't know, a new boss comes in or, you know, somebody takes over as a manager or something like that and they're throwing out new ideas or reorganizing or putting this over there, putting over that over there. Instead of saying, well, this is stupid, son of a bitch, like now I got to go over there, well, this is dumb, blah, blah, blah. check it out, see it, you know what I mean? Or maybe if the boss or whoever is open to a suggestion, well, this is why we like it over here or, or just 
be open to it and see what's going to happen. How can it actually help me? Think of some positive things. Well, if you're used to it always being right here where you could just reach over and, and you know put it away or whatever, and now you have to get up and walk five feet, guess what? Now you're getting more steps. There's a positive twist. You're getting more steps on your Fitbit or your Apple Watch or whatever. So there it is. You know what I mean? Like look at some positive things through change because you know what? Change is going to happen. We're, we're never, ever, ever going to be able to stop change. And just like with working out, when you change things up, better, quicker, faster results come. So if we embrace our changes and think about what, how is this going to benefit me in a more positive way instead of thinking how it's going to ruin your day, ruin this. Now I got to do more work. Now I got to step over here. Well, now I got, you know, well, now, now, now you're out of your comfort zone. Good things happen out of comfort zones, you know, and if you're like me, you know, like I'm always wanting to grow, either grow mentally, you know, grow emotionally, grow physically. I'm never going to grow this way. Okay. No, no short jokes, guys. Um, you know, grow with my business. You know what I mean? Like I, I want to expand with my business and so forth. So change is always good and, or it can be good if we look at it in a positive light instead of thinking that someone's out to hurt us. Why don't we think about the good positive thing? So 10% is what happens. 90% is our reaction. And then if we have a negative reaction to it, guess what? Then everybody around this is going to be negative and that could actually pull in the worst case scenarios that you're you're fearful of the most whether it's relationship whether it's you know business whether it's friendship whether it's you know your you know your job not necessarily you know your career not necessarily like your you know your business like like the gym is my business like you know you you as workers or whatever you know, if, if you, if you're not, if you're fearful of something, you know, and that's going to actually show out, we, we're, we're fearful of change. So, you know, when change happens and we show that fear, then guess what's going to happen? You know, so even like if you're in a job setting and, you know, your boss says, you know what, we're going to do it this way now, blah, 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 things have changed. This is the way it's going to be. You might not understand it right now, but you know what, flow with it instead of fighting it because when you fight it you're going to cause more issues with with the the people in in the job you know you might lose a friend because they're like oh my god can you not be so negative this person's negative so I'm gonna push that person away so I can actually focus on what the change is and I can do my job better and then they are they're growing you know so change brings growth and if, if you're, you know, if you want to grow in your job, in relationship, in your business, in life, in your mental or emotional or physical being, you know, working out, you, if you want to have growth to your, to your life, you know, instead of just kind of staying humdrum and settling with everything, you need to change. You need change up, you know? I mean, you think about if you didn't even change your clothes every day, you know what I mean? Like change is everywhere in life. So we need to embrace our change and see, see where it, it possibly on the positive end could take us. A lot of times things happen because we ask for it. You know, but we don't realize that we're asking for it or just because we're, we're, we're asking for something, we want it the way we're, we want it. You know, we want it the way we want to ask it or, way the, or the way we are asking or the way we envision it, you know. But just because we want it this way, don't, don't put those blinders on. You know, if you want a, a better, better position or, you know, better, you know, more growth in your business, more growth in, you know, the business that you own, more, you know, growth in relationship or more growth in just relationships in general, like a better relationship, a better, you know, friendship, you know, not having so much negative or, you know, one person or a couple of people having so much control over you or over your emotion. If you want to be happier, you know, we have to let that negative go. We have to, you know, see where this change is going to actually make things better for us. Sorry, text. <laughs> um, so, um, you know, think about how change is um, going to be positive for you, whatever change might be in, in your day right now. Even think about what, why you're watching right now. Think about 
what changed from, you know, I don't know what time you got to work today. Right now, my thing isn't working. Um, it's 11.01. So maybe you got to work at 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock or whatever. So from 9 to 11, there's something that changed in your, in your, in your job, in your life, something that threw you a curveball. And how did you handle it? Did you like, you know, or did you be like, okay, here we go. This is okay. We're going to, you know, just kind of take the detour around kind of, you know, sometimes we get a little flustered and frustrated, but the more that we can accept a change and say, okay, how is this going to benefit me? in a more positive way, you know, letting go of a negative person, a negative relationship, a negative friend or a negative um, thought about like, you know, some, you know, change that happened in the workforce or, or whatever, you know, sometimes when we change jobs, you know, um, we, we think that it's a better thing for us and we want that. And of course we're scared to change from something that we're so comfortable in. And then it's like, oh, this, this job is like great. You know, I have a friend that's, um, Coming up on Tuesday, she's, you know, quitting. Well, she's already quit this job. She's starting this job on Tuesday. So she's all excited about it. But I guarantee you, and I'm not setting up for failure or anything like that, but I guarantee you there's going to be a learning curve there. So then the thought is going to be, shit, did I do the right thing? Did I make the right move? Oh my God, well, well I should have just stayed there. Um, you know, so then my thing is back to her is, Give it a couple of days, you know, it's a change, it's a new process, you gotta, you know, figure out, you know, the way that they do things, and, you know, this is definitely a positive step, this is a positive move for you, don't think that you, you know, just because something is changing and getting, you, getting your feathers a little ruffled, you know, I mean, what happens when ducks and birds get their feathers ruffled, they just kind of, what's it called, preen, prune, whatever the hell they do, and then they're pretty again, you know what I mean? So change happens, and change is always for the better. Even though we might not feel like it's there, you know, it, it's either like a learning curve change, um, you know, a better relationship change, a better friendship change, a better job change, you know, with the body, you know, you're seeing better results, you know? So think about today what I want you to do is think about how something has changed even in the last five minutes or whatever and think about how you reacted to it and if you would have had more a more positive thought to that change think about how that would have settled you down and not had you flustered for a whole hour you know or the whole half a day or whatever you know what i mean like so you know i've got some changes you know that that has been happening in the last couple of months in my life and you know it's it's a it's a curveball it popped me in the head and i'm i was you know kind of struggling to get back up or you know sometimes i feel like i just got my head above water and somebody's shoving me back down into the water and i'm got bubbles at least i got bubbles and i'm breathing and i know that you know it, it and then i'm looking like what's going to be good about it how how is this going what what can i do to make this good because i'm thinking in my mind i threw it out there now it's happening well, oh shit well i just put it out there well that, that's what i want it didn't happen the way i thought i wanted it to happen but it's happening nonetheless and sometimes we when when we want something and we're afraid to get it and we know we want it, the universe wants us to have it, God wants us to have it, but we're afraid of getting it, it just shoves right into us. And it's like, what the hell, where'd the hell that come from? And then you're like, after you you, you have no other choice but to kick, cry, ball, scream, whatever, however you react to it, and then you're like, what the hell was I afraid of? Why was I afraid of that? So that's what I'm always saying, like in all of my videos, when I say, feel, feel the fear, do it anyway, a lot of times we you know fear is false evidence appearing real okay so don't fear the change embrace the change accept it i mean like i said you might get popped in the head like where the hell did that come from but look at change in every aspect of your life and you're still living so obviously that change that has happened, even though it kind of threw you for a loop, that change that happened has made you a better person, has gotten you a better job, has gotten you a better relationship, has gotten you a better friendship, has gotten you a better house, but whatever, you know, whatever it might be, you are better off now than if you would have stayed or if you, you know, back there because you wanted it. But now when the universe is forcing you to take it, now you're like kind of shying away from it. Well, no, maybe I don't want it. No, no, take it. 
if it's in your heart and if it's in your head and that's what you want, you want the you want the results, step out of the comfort zone and run a little faster. Step out of the comfort zone and lift a little heavier. Step out of the comfort zone and accept that work change or that whatever change that it is and see how it's going to benefit you. Because even though it feels like it's not going to benefit you and even though it feels like somebody's punching you in the gut, Take a breath and see what the what good possibilities could come from it. Okay, so everybody faces change. Change is happening every single minute of the day. Um, you know, so see how we can make ninety percent of what happens to us the the rea you know good ninety percent reaction. So ten percent is what happens. Ninety percent is the reaction. So let's make that ninety percent positive reaction today. So leave me a comment. Tell me what's changed in your life in the last couple of hours that you've been up and been at the job or whatever. Tell me what's happened, what made a change, and you know, kind of threw you for a loop, but how you reacted to it in a positive way. Think about positivity. Throw the positive out there, and the positive will come back. So let me know what's changed and how you reacted to it and or how this video helped you react to a change that might be coming, you know, later today, you know? Um, so if you want to hear anything other, any other tips, you know, whatever motivation, leave me, leave me a comment as well. Tell me what I can do and what I can help, how I can help. And, um, Danny K. Jim wellness.com. It's up. I think we're still working on some bugs, but it's up. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Danny K. Jimmel Wellness on Facebook and Danny K. Jimmel Wellness right here in Westminster. And if you're not local, I can do you. Well, maybe not that way, but I can do live feeds for you. Meal plans, nutrition, well, yeah, nutrition, meal plans, workouts, whatever. So Danny K. Jimmel Wellness, stay in tune, stay informed, stay motivated.